Hello and welcome back to the Resident Evil Marathon that we're doing. So I decided to just keep on going with the marathon because in between my recording for Resident Evil 2 and 3, the GOG release for the trilogy started to happen. And I thought, should I wait? Nah, let's just keep going. So today, we are going to begin our trek through Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, the original. Not the remake that took a bunch of stuff out. That'll happen at some point. Months and months down the road. This is also going to be a little bit of a weird playthrough for us, because this is probably the PS1 game of this series that I have played the least. This new Capcom logo. I don't like it as much as the other one that had all the lines and everything. All right, Nemesis. The big bad poster boy of this game. All right, so we don't need to change anything in Game Kid Fig. Let's see what we got here. I think Type A is what we wanted to do before, right? Or was it Type B? I think it was Type B, because I want to cancel and run on the square button, and I wanted Auto Aim on. So let's go out of that. And let's go into New Game, and we'll go into... Hard mode, because the difficulty of this game is weird, because there's no normal mode. I mean, technically there is. It's basically normal and easy mode. I know a lot of people say that, oh yeah, oh yeah, hard mode is just like the difficulty was in Resident Evil 1 and 2. I'm like, yeah, no, Resident Evil 1 was pretty easy. Not gonna lie, it was, it was pretty easy. So basically what we have here is, uh, in easy mode, you know, you do more damage, they do less damage, and the, at the beginning of the game, when you open up the first item box, you have most of the weapon roster and, like, hundreds upon hundreds of ammunition for it. From the get-go, like, you start with an assault rifle instead of a handgun, and you open up the treasure box and you have the handgun, shotgun, and magnum all ready to go, like, 250 bullets for the handgun and everything. In a hard mode, you start with just a pistol. Just a pistol and some ammo, and you can find some find a shotgun like five minutes in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through, you know, air quotes, hard mode. It's basically normal mode. Just the normal mode, the way the game was meant to be played. 1999. 1999. So we're almost to the year 2000. And hilariously enough, we've got like three more games to go through before we even get to the first PS2 era Resident Evil game. Yep. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. As an ordinary day in September, an ordinary day in Raccoon City. Raccoon City. City. Controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them, and that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. The last escape for Jill Valentine. This is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E95070. Over. 
Zombos! Okay, that was exciting. All right, let's see what we got. Handgun. And we'll, we'll go into these later. All right, get him down so we can run past him. There's gonna be a big game of preserving ammo in this game. Oh no, Zombo's everywhere. Get in there, Jill. Why Jill's wearing a tube top in this game, I will never know for, you know, survival purposes. But she is. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? How dare you? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! <laughs> this guy. I always kind of laughed at how crazy this guy is. He's like, leave me alone, I'm not going anywhere. Let's talk to him again. Hey, 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 buddy. I told you. I'm not leaving. Never. Never. Just All right. Get away from me. Fine, talk to him again. The container's locked from the inside, won't let me talk to him again. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's go grab some supplies from over here. First aid spray. Handgun bullets. Go ahead and uh, combine these to get a full mag again. All right, walk up these stairs. And holy crap, we can walk up the stairs. That is fantastic. Cause like in the in Resident Evil 1 and 2, you had to like walk up to to a, like the little stairs. And you had to be like, alright, now let me hit the X button to prompt an animation to walk up the stairs. But no, now you can just freely walk up the stairs, no problem. No animation, no transition, no nothing. It's great to be able to play these games in order of release. That way you can you know, you can see all of the little changes that they made, all the little improvements. All right, so let's go ahead and go into this first area. First save room. 
So let's go ahead and grab the key to get out of here. Let's go ahead and read our instruction manual. This is basically just talks about specific uh, mechanics in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Alright, so you can shoot objects now. You may get different reactions from shooting objects such as oil drums or bombs. Basically, explosive barrels, like in a lot of shooting games. Quick turn, you can perform two quick 180 degree turns, which basically create uh, was a staple for the entire series going forward after this. Emergency escape! I, I'm not a fan of this system. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. When you're trapped by enemies, you can push them away to escape. Press the directional buttons. The action button. The cancel button. The run button. R1, R2, and L1 all at the same time rapidly. So basically you have to mash on your controller to uh, escape from enemies and stuff. Which really sucks because there are some enemies in this game that can like throw you on the ground and you have to quickly get back up before they uh, get over to you and do a follow up attack. I'm not a fan of this. If it was just like one or two buttons, I would be fine with it. But it's not. It's like every button on the controller practically. Alright, let's see. Emergency dodging. This is an interesting me mechanic. Just before an enemy attacks, you can perform a dodge to evade it. Press the R1 or R2 buttons right before an enemy attacks, or press the action button while you are aiming at them. This is a cool function, where like if you have good timing right before the enemy attacks you, you can literally like crouch or dodge out of the way of attacks, which is super useful. But I'm not good at it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not very good at this. But you know, if I ever learn and become a master at it, that'd be cool. You could literally go through this game with just the knife if you had perfect aim, uh, timing with the dodge. All right, getting off and on and off an object, we know how to do that. Press the L2 but button to view the map. Live selection at certain points in the game, the screen fades to black and white. At these points, you will be prompted to choose between two different options. Basically, dialogue choices that can affect how the story proceeds and mostly just how the ending goes. We'll get to at least one of those today. All right, now let's go into the other manual to get it out of our inventory. This is basically just showing the uh, ammunition crafting system this game has. Basically, you have a reloading tool in your inventory that you can combine with gunpowder to create ammunition. And there's a bunch of different kinds of ammunition you can combine, like you right here. You're like A, B, and C are handgun, shotgun, grenade rounds, and then they can be combined for different other grenade rounds or magnum bullets. I've got a picture of that, so we can refer to that if we need to, but that's basically what that is. All right, I think there was some uh, gunpowder in this room already. Yep, so let's just get ourselves started. Convert all of that into handgun ammo. Boom, we got like 70 shots. And we'll run over here and get our ink ribbons that are by the typewriter. Let's go ahead and do a first save, just for a, at the beginning of the game, save. And we will overwrite this. This is actually a, a little test I did yesterday. Because I wanted to get back into the groove of this game before we actually started the Let's Play. So I played the first, like, hour of the game. Just to, uh, get a little bit of a feel for it again. Which I'm glad I did. Because this is not a game where you just go around and kill everything. At least not all willy-nilly. Alright, that's fine. Because that key will go away as soon as we leave this place. All right, let's go. You've used the warehouse key. Let's discard it. And let's go. Out into the bit of a maze-like first area of the game. No enemy here, there will be later. And 
and let's go explore the city. Because that's one thing that I like about this game in particular. This guy is not dead. Neither is that guy. Yeah. See? Shenanigans. Let's wait until we can see him. See, look at how much ammo it's taking to kill these guys. Like five, six, seven bullets? No. These guys aren't all dead yet. All right, so we killed three zombies, right? We went from 70 to not even 40. Not even 40 bullets left. Crap. Hold on. Oh, come on, man. I was trying to position myself to not run right into him. Because I've noticed that you kind of have to... Uh, or at least I've had to so far, pick and choose who we're fighting. Because now we can get the uh, shotgun pretty quickly here. Is it this way? No. See, I went through this whole area and I, yesterday, and I'm, and I'm still getting lost. <laughs> I'm still getting lost here, but that's fine. I do like the way this lets you go through the city. Because in Resident Evil 2, it was insinuated that the city got run, run, run down. You know, overtaken with zombies. But, you barely got to see the city in Resident Evil 2. You get to see a little bit more in the remake, but Resident Evil 2 is mostly just police station on, on underground. So it's nice that this game actually lets you see a lot of what happened in the city itself. How much space we got? Mm, this is fine. We'll take one for now. Because there's a smart way of doing this here. Alright. Let me interact with this door. And have that happen. Someone just ran off. And left these three zombies for me! that are vomiting in my face, jeez. Let's just hurry up and take care of these guys. Anyways. Where's the other one at? There he is. Oh, come on, man. I was stuck on the door. Okay, anyways. I just wanted to run in here and Crap. Go away. Because I want to get... Not this. This is the lighter oil, which we do need. But I need... This right here. Shotgun. Alright, let's quickly take care of these guys. So we have the shotgun, meaning we can do... Headshots now. So at least get rid of some of these guys, so we can maneuver around this place. I hear another one somewhere. Am I about to buy- wow. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, am I about to back right into him? Yes. Yes, I am. There. That's taken care of for now. Cause look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at how much ammo we've burned through already. Um, I don't want to grab that herb yet. Is this the path to that one place? Or no? I think it, I think, I don't think it is. This goes to a different area, but not the area I'm thinking of. You 
see, game's kind of a jerk like this. Where it's like, oh, we're not going to tell you where the zombies are. You can hear them, and then the, the camera shift changes, and then, like, oh, they're literally right here. Alright. Someone's getting attacked. Can we go in here? No. Someone's getting attacked right here. Let me just scoochie by you guys real quick. Because I fought all the zombies in here when I was doing this yesterday. And I very, very quickly ran out of ammo. So there should be three zombies down here. Right? Yes. While someone's shooting them and running away. Uh, we came from this way. Okay, yeah, this is where, where I want to go. We can't progress here yet. But there's something I want to get. It's over here. Alright. We're just going to wait here for the zombies to get close to that red barrel and blow most of them up. Oh man! See, the last time I did this, when I did it yesterday, I, I managed to kill all but one of them with the barrel. What happened to these zombies? In Resident Evil 1, it was like four shots max and they, they at least went down the first time. Now it's like five. Absurdity. Alright. So I wanted to get these red herbs. Go and get the other one. Combine with that. Now we have a free spot in our inventory. For now. I don't care about you. I'm leaving. But this isn't like Resident Evil 1 where we could like easily kill every enemy in the game and have lots of spare ammo. Where did you come from? See, there we go. That's a normal downed zombie. Hold on. We have to come back here later, so we need to make sure that you're actually dead. I think you're actually dead. I think it's fine. Alright. I have one free slot. Oh, hey, I opened it. Cool. And I'm just thinking about the other stuff that we have to get in this area. And once we get past this area, my uh, knowledge of this game will quickly dwindle down. Because, as much as I love these games, I've played Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, like, maybe two or three times. Maybe. I played it once on the PS1, when I actually had the disc. And then, like, maybe twice here. On the PlayStation Network version? It's probably the Resident Evil game I've played the least. Out of almost all of them. Outside of maybe seven. Alright, I'm gonna huddle back up here. So we can drop some stuff off in the treasure box because we're going to have access to another save room soon but for now I want to empty out my inventory alright so we'll drop this extra red herb off we'll drop this full herb thing off and that'll probably be fine for now let's head back out there 
And no, I'm not going to save because there's actually a good save point coming up real soon. We've just got a little bit more to go to get what we need. Where's the zombie in here? When I played this yesterday, there was a zombie, like right here. Interesting. Well, whatever. If he doesn't want to spawn, that's fine by me. All right, I gotta figure out where we're supposed to be going here. I mean, I know where to go, I just don't remember exactly how to get there. If that makes sense. So I got four shots in this shotgun, so if I need to, to emergency take out a zombie. Oh, hey look, a hot dog advertisement. I like hot dogs. I like corn dogs, though. Corn dogs are really good. We could just check the map. Where haven't we been yet? Up here to the left. That way, and that way. And directly behind us? Alright. What's directly behind us? Anything? Oh, this over here I haven't been to yet. Whatever. Let's just keep going. With poor... Help? Help? Who is calling for help? You don't see me. You guys don't see a thing. But this is useful. But- Oh, come on! Are you telling me he was just far enough away? To not get hit at all by that blast. Oh, that she screamed again. Have I been here already? Yes. Yeah, this is where the stupid warehouse was. She screamed over this way, so... Is there someone in the warehouse? That zombie's there now. I see him. Hi, buddy boy. Oh, yeah. She's dead. Okay, then. Well, let's move on. We've got things to get and places to be. Really, this game is just about Jill trying to leave the city. Alright, where's he at? I hear him shuffling around. There he is. What the? Hold on. What was that? Get rid of you. Just curious. Nothing? Okay. Whatever. Because I know I saw the car door move just now. I'm like, what is that? All right, now let's just wander around this maze of a an, of a hub and get out of here. Cuz we have to go back to where those three zombies were, which should be right over here. There's one right there. None right there. And none over here. Cool. Oh, 
a cutscene. Oh no, someone's getting attacked! Get away. So do we need to help this at all? Do we need to? Do we really? Yeah, we, we, we should. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen. You are the police. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after STARS members. There's no escape. All right, so that was Brad. You know, Brad from Resident Evil 1, the guy that uh, dropped the rocket launcher for Jill. And uh, said, Jill, you're our Amazon. Kill that monster. Yeah, that was him. He's one of the only other members of the STARS police force that you actually see in this game. All right, so this is uh, talking about a clock tower, which is interesting because the it's interesting now because the clock tower was uh, a location in this game, but it was not brought back for the Resident Evil 3 remake. All right, what else we got here? All right, lighter. So this is what we need to progress forward. So combine that with that. Let's unlock this door. Oh, right. Brad already unlocked it. My bad. Zombos. More zo- Oh my gosh. Get off of me. Get off of me. Right now. Knock it off. We're not hobbling yet, which is good. Though we are at caution, which is not great. I mean, we probably should just heal, to be honest. Oh, he's an idiot. Oh my gosh, why are there so many zombies here? There were not this many here earlier! Now we're hobbling, now we gotta use the first aid spray. Oh my gosh, where did all these zombies come from? You know, this is kind of a nice feeling, just with how little ammo you have, and you kind of have to pick and choose who you fight, just to create a path to get out of a room. It is a nice feeling like you know just with this being a survival horror game and it, you're in a, a zombie infested city so it's nice to be able to like oh crap I've gotta just get through enough enemies just to make a line out of here now I mean I, I know there's a, a, some people who who have like you know We'll go and f kill every zombie in this game. But if I wanted to do that, I'd be playing on easy mode. But we're not doing that. Alright. Dogs in this area. I don't give a single crap about dogs that can't aim for crap. Do you see how many times they jumped at me while I was like stumbling around with the with the uh, tank controls? Holy crap! All right, um, we're gonna have to get these herbs out. We'll need that. Mm, hold on, hold on, hold. On. Let, let's hold off on that for for a second because we've got some gunpowder, aka more ammo that we can make. Thank you. 
All right. So we're going to put the lighter away. I don't think we need it. Or at least not for a while. Get the ink ribbons out. Not that. That. Let's go ahead and save. How far are we? Oh, holy crap. We're, we're ahead of schedule. Probably just because I know how to navigate this area. Because at this time yesterday, we were at like... Not nearly this far. We were at like 45, 50 minutes. Right now we're at like 35. All right, we're gonna drop that in there. Um, I guess we'll use the shotgun at least a little bit here. All right, let's run away from the dogs. We don't need to fight them. All right, so where we need to go is that way, so we're gonna go this way. Just to explore around for a minute. Can we go through here? No. Locked with a simple lock. Wait, a simple lock? We're playing as the master of unlocking. Jill, why don't you have a lock pick on you? Whatever. Let's go to this next area. And we'll continue the story. Oh, hey, look, it's the police station. This is an interesting little tidbit here, because, uh, yeah. Chris and, or not Chris, Claire and Leon visit the police station in Resident Evil 2. And Jill visits the same police station in Resident Evil 3. This is actually uh, one day before Resident Evil 2 happens. So this is before Leon and Claire get to the city. And yes, I know it's a little crazy to think about. I'm thinking, wait a minute. This city was overrun by zombies for an entire day or more. And the city wasn't blocked and barriered off, preventing Leon and Claire from getting in. I don't know the story behind that. There might be. A story. They made a bunch of games centered around this time period. Oh, cool. Cinematic. Hey, Brad. Oh my gosh, what's that? Well, Brad's dead. Uh-oh. All right, so this is Nemesis, the villain of this game. <laughs> and uh, we're going to, uh, we're gonna just say, nope. And we're gonna run to the police station. Haha, -ha, you missed. <laughs> well, he really wants in. We're gonna grab some stuff real quick. Oh, look at that. Look at those green herbs. Alright, so that's Nemesis, the, uh, you know, the villain of this game. He shows up several times, and you can fight him if you want, but you are expected to, uh, run from him. If you fight him, you can get, uh, like, special drops. Oh, hello. Not gonna lie, when Jill immediately moved her head, I thought we were in a cutscene. But anyways, yeah. So, I thought about going through this game in hard mode and just say, we're just gonna fight Nemesis every chance we get. Until I realized that we can't. You need an absurd amount of ammo to be able to kill him in hard mode. I believe what uh, I looked up online said, 60 handgun bullets. So, with this right here, we might not have even had enough ammo to kill him. Like, if we used every single bullet we had available to us. So, yeah. Not gonna worry about it. We should probably switch to the handgun, too. I don't want to waste too much. But this is cool. Like, going into Resident Evil 3 and... Uh... What was that? Probably just part of the background music, right? But it's nice to be able to revisit this place after playing Resident Evil 2.
It's like, oh yeah, here's the here's the police station in three. All right, let's see here. So obviously, I'm very confused. He's been fatally wounded by zombies. He appears to be holding something in his hand. Marvin's report. September 24th, there are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel-decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers, I have no choice but to suspend this case. Alright. Two days later. Based on an autopsy report, I have discovered that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since the city is under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case. How is the city under martial law yet Cl Claire and Leon managed to get in? Unless the uh, military force just got overwhelmed. Whatever, it's fine. He's been fatally wounded by zombies. So this is supposed to be before Leon and Claire get here. So I guess he's like unconscious under shock from the... Maybe he's unconscious right now. And then he wakes up... You know... Tomorrow? When Leon and Claire get here? I, I don't know. I'm just making little guesses here. Because that just seems like an inconsistency. If this is supposed to be before Blue Gym, sure, take the Blue Gym. But yeah, I'm like, if this is supposed to be before Resident Evil 2 happens, I don't know. Oh, hey, we're over by that save room. Well, she's not the only zombie here. I hear another one. Let's go ahead and reload while we can. Okay, never mind. Uh, we're going to use a shotgun. Or we're just going to shove them. Jill's just like, screw you guys. Hold on. There's something over here. Yep. There's a zombie that now has no head over here. Alright, so this is the uh, save room. You know, I know it's fine that they use the Resident Evil 3's save theme here, but I think it would have been really fun if this had used the Resident Evil 2 save music. Just because, like, as an homage to the fact that this is the location of the second game. I think that would have been fun. But you know, whatever. It's not a huge deal. All right, let's combine these real quick. Beautiful. We'll put the regular green herb away. I guess we'll save since you know we're here. Dark room. Pretty sure that's what it says in Resident Evil 2 when you do it, when you save here too. That's fun. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna move on unless there's something else in here, like gunpowder. Sure, why not? It can be kind of... All right. I kind of wish it would just combine with the pre-existing slot for ammo, but it's fine. It's not a huge deal. Probably gonna have to switch back to the handgun. 
Because I only have four shots left in the in the shotgun. We should probably only use them if we need them. Oh, they do have stair transitions. But I didn't have to prompt. I just had to start running up the stairs to get it. All right, bunch of zombies there. Let's just get back to our uh, dodging game. Oh, there's a fat zombie there. That's cool. Brian Irons, is that you? Oh, and this door isn't locked. Interesting. We don't have to do that stupid little puzzle. And here's the star's office. You'll need the star's key to unlock this door. <laughs> okay. And a barricade's been put up here. Which means it's somewhere in the station, just not right here. Though I guess that, that can make some sort of sense. Nope, can't use that there. Crap. There we go. One of them got knocked over to create a path for us to run down here. That is one nice use for the shotgun, right? Boom, knock them over and just run past. I'll swap back to that. Let's go down this way. This is the liquor hallway, right? I don't think liquors are in this game, though. I think I hear a zombie, just, just, just barely. Or a few zombies. All right. Though it's interesting going through a place that you know, not knowing what you're gonna find, like whatever this is. Oh, hey, a stars card. Is that Jill's ID card? Hold on, let me look at that. An ID card for stars with Jill's picture on it. That's fun. We probably have to use that. Ooh, shotgun shell. Sweet. There's nothing you can do with this fireplace, huh? Oh, okay. Shame I don't have the uh, lighter with me. Shame. Such a shame. All right, anyways. We have shotgun shells again, so we'll use them a little bit to clear out this hallway. I'm assuming this uh, uh, ID card is going to be used out on in the main hall with that computer. Oh my gosh, there are so many zombies here. Um, but now there's not. I don't hear any more. Sure, I'll take the red herb. The door is barricaded? Interesting. You know, I kind of, I don't know. It feels weird. It just feels weird with this being before Resident Evil 2, with some of these like barricades and everything. It's like, how did this get, how did this get unbarricaded? Did did Chief Irons unbarricade that door that Claire and Leon went went through? It's just strange. Oh. Hmm.
Nope. 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 Well, um, I guess we're just not, not going to be able to guess it. We'll have to come back here later. We'll just have to do it later. Not that way. We wanted to go the other way. We're going to have to go back to the uh, main hall. So I'm assuming that's how you use that ID card. Unless there's something new you can interact with in 3 that you couldn't interact with in 2. Oh, is this Leon's desk? That's fun. They've already got the party stuff set up for him. Anyways. Well, at least Nemesis isn't banging on the door anymore. Is that handgun ammo? Yep. That'll help. It is nice that they come in sets of 30 now. Is there anything over here? Oh! Map. Cool. I don't need to use this right now. Alright. Okay, game! Alright! Go into inventory. Use this. I don't need to use this right now. Don't move at all. Interact with computer. Would you like to use the stars card? Okay. Alright. Notice the stars personnel. Due to the emergency, the key to the stars office has been moved to the evidence room. Today's password for the safe is 0131. Alright. Well, crap. Um, I don't have any inventory space. I assume that the stars card would just be discarded after that. Oh, whatever. Can we discard it? No. I guess we'll have to go back to the inventory room, or the save room, drop off the stars card, or something, and then come and get the 0131 thingy. Which, I mean, that's fine. We are getting a little more comfy with what we're doing now. Since Nemesis is just outside, I guess. He wasn't banging on the door anymore when we went back to the main hall. Unless he's like, fine, whatever. I'll just leave. Oh, hey. Let's go ahead and combine these. Drop this off again. I'm sure we'll have a use for the uh, blue jewel sometime soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in here. Get the star's key. Do we sell that card on us? No, we put it away. Code was 0131, so let's go ahead and put it in. Now, if you noticed, we used that code earlier. So, I guess the, uh, the game has to procedurally, or I, I don't know what, I don't know what procedurally is right. I guess the game has to generate what the code is, so you can't just go straight to the uh, locker and get it. Oh well. This way? Yeah. It's whatever. Do we need to save? Eh, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Uh, 
Excuse me, zombies. Coming through. Pardon me, fat zombie. I just need through the next area. Yeah, because we get attacked or anything. We got we've got a full heal. Alright, discard the key. Now we have two slots open again. Let's see what's in here. I wonder if Sherry's in here at this point. First of all, here. What's in here? Heck yeah, man. Magnum. I knew there was something in there. Ah, uh, here's Jill's desk. Heck yeah, dude. Lockpick. Oh, man. The lockpick takes up an inventory space. It won't let me interact with anything. Jill, what are you... Aha! It's the desk of Chris, a Star's team member. It's disorganized. Is an station. That's nice. So that's confirming, yes, this is Chris's desk. Alright, let's go look at Becky's desk. It's the desk of Rebecca, a rookie member of Stars. Oh man. Oh man, we're gonna have to come back for that. That first aid spray? Is there anything else in here? I hope not. It's the desk of Wesker. A tr the traitor. There's Barry's desk. Is Barry... You have like... Oh, yeah. Ammo, baby! Thanks, Barry! That's cool. Hello? Ola? No. Come to anyone. Our platoon is cut off. No survivors found. This is Carlos. Carlos! Immediately. Someone needs support. Jill has nothing to say about that, apparently. Jill's just like Silence. All right, so we got a lockpick. Oh, hold on. Was that lockpicking door down here? Or was it someplace else? Oh, that's barricaded off. That is barricaded off. All right, let's go back. Hey, we got a Magnum. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Hey, zombies. You gonna make a, a path for me? No. Oh, that's a bunch of crap, man. Whatever. Oh my gosh, damn it! Oh, nope! Nope! Um, so Nemesis is here. Let's go ahead and save. Just... Just to be safe. Yep, we're just gonna... We're just gonna save our progress. Mm-hmm. Because he just busted through a window. All right. Now we're going to put the uh, ink ribbons away. Where was the door that needed the lock pick? It wasn't upstairs. Had to be downstairs somewhere, right? We'll have to look around for it. Oh my gosh, he's right there! Holy crap! Nope! 
Okay. All right. Everything's fine. We walk to another room. Everything's fine. Let's see. I don't remember. The oh no! He's following me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Nemesis can follow you. All right. Oh, I remember now. It wasn't in the police station. It was that one. It was that one area. Pass back here. I forgot where it was. Man, that was that was before we even got to the police station. All right, well, let's head over there. This door, right? You've used the lockpick. Though I kind of wish it was just part of her inventory, so it didn't use up a slot. There's a red barrel here. That guy looks like he's just part of the back. What was that? He's holding something. Mercenary's Diary. Alright, so September 1st. Following six months of intensive training, my body's edge has returned. Or had returned. I was a good soldier, but they ordered my execution with no reason. Um, but on the morning of my execution, a miracle happened. The company had helped me out, giving me a second lease on life. September 15th. I ended my vacation short and returned to the HQ. It looks like my UBCS unit's been called into action. Umbrella maintains its own paramilitary unit to counter corporate terrorism and VIP abduction. In addition, they have a night they have nightmen who specialize in handling problems caused by illegal products. Interesting. September 28th. Dawn's here, but we're still slogging through this nightmare. There are no provisions. The undead walk the streets, feeding upon the flesh of the living. Given the choice again, I would rather have been executed. Death Row was a heavenly asylum compared to this place. I've chosen to pull the trigger myself. Oh, interesting. Alright. So we saw something crawling on the wall there, right? I think I know what those are. I'm trying to think of what they were called. Oh, what do we have here? There's a fire hydrant. A fire hose is fixed with bolts. Alright. So we'll probably need that later. Wait, what was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn around. Did I just see blue herbs? I sure did. Great. Great! Where are they? I don't care about the dogs. Where are they? I saw blue herbs. You know what blue herbs means. Blue herbs means spiders. Or it means dogs, apparently. Oh, sure. Sure, I'll take the power cable. Oh, hey, look! A dog that has aim! Oh, there are blue herbs growing here. So would you like to use them? No? We're not poisoned, right? No? All right. Well, whatever. Now, at least the game's giving us plenty of handgun ammo. Holy crap, dude. Where's the item box? There it is. Um. I'm going to put that away because we, ne we didn't use it. I don't like this. 
<laughs> I don't like this. Let me think. We are going to need we are going to need to keep the lock pick for now. Hmm. Well, I'm just trying to think of what we can leave behind. Well, I don't know, man. This is this is difficult. You know, we got plenty of ammo right now. Why don't we just leave the reloading tool behind? Are there are more ink rubens by the typewriter. All right, good. Five. All right, let's go ahead and save. All right. Now I'm going to put those ink ribbons away. And we will continue this journey next time on Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the PlayStation Vita TV.